Welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to cover how the whole process of selling on Amazon works from A to Z. So by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea if this is the right opportunity for you. So let's get into it. First off, my name is Pat Harris. I've been teaching how to sell on Amazon since 2018. I run a community on Facebook with over 19,000 Amazon sellers and students, and I've taught hundreds of people how to sell on Amazon. And many have had great success, including Steven, who is actually absolutely crushing it right now. All right, so let's get into how selling on Amazon works because there's a lot of bad information out there. First off, selling on Amazon is not drop shipping. They're two completely different business models. And what a lot of people don't know is you cannot drop ship on Amazon. What I do is called Amazon FBA private label. It means fulfillment by Amazon. You don't hold any of your products. They're all stored directly at Amazon's warehouses around the US. And then whenever you get a sale, Amazon is gonna ship it to that customer in one to two days via Prime. Drop shipping is when you get an order, it gets placed with that manufacturer in China, and then that manufacturer will ship it to the customer in a week, two weeks, or even longer than that. So you cannot drop ship on Amazon. So let's get that out of the way. All right, so one of the main things you need to know is, can you sell on Amazon from anywhere in the world? Well, there's actually a website that shows you all the countries that can sell on Amazon. Almost every country in the world can sell on Amazon, but if you wanna check, just go on Google, type in Amazon FBA accepted countries, and there's a complete list of all the countries that could sell on Amazon. Another thing you need to know is, a lot of people say you need an LLC or a business or a trademark to start selling on Amazon. Amazon. The truth is you don't need any of those. You could sell as an individual and you don't need an LLC or a corporation or a business license or a seller's permit. You don't need any of that documentation. You just enter in all your personal information and they're gonna ask you for your social security number or your EIN, different forms of identification depending on your country. All right, so let's get into how the actual process works. To sell on Amazon, you need to sign up for an Amazon seller account and this is where you run pretty much your whole business. It's how you create your listings. It's how you manage your inventory and all of that good stuff. So to sign up, you do have to sign up for an Amazon seller account. The website is sell.amazon.com. So when you sign up for your account, you could downgrade it. So you're not getting charged $39.99 a month. And then when you do start selling on Amazon, you want to upgrade your account. So you could sign up to sell on Amazon completely for free until you actually find a product and get the whole process rolling. All right. So the next step is you need to find a good product. This is the hardest part of the whole process because you have to learn what makes a good product. You can't just put a water bottle on Amazon and then start getting sales. That's not how it works. And that is why the main focus of my program is on product research. You have to learn what has good demand, low competition, doesn't have a trademark, no big brands are selling that product. And there's a lot of other things you need to look into when it comes to product research. So the hardest part of selling on Amazon is finding a winning product. But luckily in my program, I teach you guys different methods and how to look for those types of products. But yeah, the reason why people fail is because they don't do the proper research. They put a product on Amazon and then they realize they're not getting any sales. So product and keyword research are very important when it comes to selling on Amazon. So the next step is once you find a product, what are you gonna do? So once you find a product, you need to find a manufacturer that can make that product. So one of the main websites that I use is called alibaba.com. And this is where you could find manufacturers to make your products at a very cheap price. So you're gonna buy a bunch of these products. It could be 100 units, 200 units, 500 units. You wanna start low as a new seller and then you are gonna have those products manufactured by a company, usually in China. But when it comes to finding a manufacturer, there's a lot of other things you need to look into like to make sure they're verified, they have good reviews, they're a trusted supplier. I also cover all those steps in my program as well. So once you find a manufacturer, you are going to place your order. Now you're probably wondering, how do my products get sent from my manufacturer in China directly to Amazon? That is a very confusing part a lot of people have questions about, so this is how it works. You go into your Amazon seller account and you create what's called a shipping plan. This is where Amazon asks you how many units you are sending to them, where it's coming from, how many boxes, what the size of the boxes are, how much those boxes weigh, and then Amazon is basically getting an idea of your shipment and then they're gonna say at the end of that shipping plan, ship your products to this Amazon warehouse address 
and then they're gonna give you all the labels that you're gonna give to your manufacturer. So your manufacturer will get those labels once you create that shipping plan. They stick them to the box and then they ship them to that Amazon warehouse address. Amazon receives them. They scan in that barcode from that label which is linked to your account and then you will see your inventory start to go up because they're scanning your products in because they're linked to your Amazon account. Now I also cover that in my program as well where I show you step by step how to create that shipping plan. But that is the basic overview of how getting your products shipped to Amazon works. Another thing your manufacturer will need is what's called the FN SKU barcode. This is the Fulfillment Network SKU barcode. And to generate that, you go to your listing that you created inside your Amazon seller account. You're gonna go to create item labels and then you're gonna send them that barcode and they're gonna stick one on each product. Now to create your listing on Amazon, when you actually start to create that listing, when you want to put in all the pictures and details, Amazon is going to ask if you have an actual brand. So one, you do not need a trademark to sell on Amazon. Two, you can sell on Amazon under your brand without having a trademark, but there's a couple steps you need to know about. So if you wanna sell your own products on Amazon under your own brand without having a trademark, Amazon wants you to have your brand name permanently affixed to the product or the packaging. That means they wanna see that brand name that you're trying to sell under. So let's say my brand name is Pat's Products. They wanna see Pat's Products permanently printed on on the product or the packaging. It cannot be written on, it cannot be a sticker. They wanna see that it is permanently affixed, you cannot take it off. And then once they see those pictures that you submit to them, they're gonna show you what to do and how to submit those photos. And they see that the brand name is permanently affixed to the product or the packaging. They will say, okay, your brand is approved and you could sell under that brand name. Now, if you don't have a brand and you just wanna sell a random product and you don't wanna go through that process of getting your brand name printed on the box, even though it's very cheap, it could be as low as 10 to 25 cents per unit, you can sell under generic. That means you type in generic, you don't have a brand and they will let you just sign up to sell on Amazon under generic and they won't ask you for brand approval. Another method is you can get a trademark which gives you more protection of your brand and I cover all of this in my program as well step by step. So you don't need a trademark to sell on Amazon under your own brand but you do need to have that brand name printed on the box or the product. Then from there you're going to want to create your listing but there's a lot of things that come into your listing. So one of the most important things is having great pictures and you want to also have your keywords which people are searching on Amazon. Luckily there's tools for that like helium 10 so you know what keywords you're going to use in your listing but i also show that as well in the program how to optimize your listing how to find those keywords to get sales and that is another important step when it comes to selling on amazon so now that you know how you get your product shipped directly to amazon they receive your products, your listing goes live, now what do you have to do? You're gonna start running ads directly inside Amazon. So whenever you see sponsored on Amazon, that means that that seller is bidding on a specific keyword, and if someone clicks on the keyword, they're gonna get charged for that advertisement. Now the cool thing is, a lot of people go on Amazon every day. Millions of people go to Amazon to shop. So you wanna find those keywords that don't have too much search volume at a lower bid cost. And the goal is to get people to click on the ad and buy it at a low bid price so you're actually making profit after they click on that ad. So there's a lot of stuff when it comes to Amazon PPC or running sponsored ads. But I also cover all of that in the program as well because it could be very confusing if you have no idea what I'm talking about. You wanna to get to the top of the page on Amazon for all the different keywords your product is related to and to do that you have to start running ads from day one and that is how my students do well because I show them what keywords to target so that's the cool thing about Amazon you can get sales right on day one without having any reviews if you do your right product and keyword research and target the right keywords when it comes to advertising now the best part is when you do get a sale, you don't have to do anything. Amazon is gonna pack and ship your product to the customer because they are holding all of your inventory. Let's say that the customer wants to return the item. You don't even have to handle that. They're gonna ship it back to Amazon. Amazon is gonna adjust your account. If they have any problems with their order, they could call customer service. So you're literally not doing any of that when it comes to selling on Amazon. It's called Fulfillment by Amazon and they handle everything for you. The only thing that you're gonna be doing is running ads on different keywords, or you can be creating content on like TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube if you want. You don't have to because most of your advertisement will be done directly in Amazon. Amazon already has the traffic. You just have to get your product in front of the customer. So that is the best part about Amazon. You could be sitting at home, you could be on vacation, it can be 2 a.m. in the middle of the night, and you could get a sale, but you don't have to do anything because Amazon is gonna handle all of your orders for you. When I first 
first started selling on Amazon, I still remember it. I was at the beach when I lived in California and I was getting sales as I was sitting there on the beach. I just kept refreshing my sales page and they were coming in. I got about eight sales on day one and that was crazy to me and I didn't have to do anything. I didn't have to leave the beach to go pack and ship the orders. I just sat there and saw these sales coming in. Now that's the best part about Amazon is you don't have to do any physical labor because Amazon is gonna do it all for you and you could scale your business very large because you don't need employees, you don't need a warehouse. Amazon has that network for you. All right, so that's pretty much the outline of how the whole process works. Um, when it comes to how much money you need to start, that really depends on the product that you sell. I've launched a product with around $500. I've had students launch products with around $500 as well, but the average cost is gonna be around $2,000. Remember, you're buying the inventory in bulk, so if you buy 200 units and the product costs $2 each, that's $400 right off the start for that inventory. Now, you're also gonna need some money for running ads um, and then also Amazon. Amazon seller fees is $39.99 a month. So I recommend around two to 3,000 to start, but you can start with under $1,000. You just need to find those smaller, cheaper products for example, I sold COVID face mask stickers when COVID was around, and those cost me around 50 cents per unit, and I bought a thousand of them, but other products will require more. The larger the product, the more money you're gonna need because it's gonna cost more to ship. So there's a lot of other factors, but I cover all of that in my program as well. So again, you don't need any experience. You don't need any business licenses or certain documentation. You could sell from pretty much any country. So let's compare the two programs that I offer. Number one is my Amazon course, which covers the whole process step by step and videos that are over five hours of content. I have nine different modules in there. It's very easy to follow. I keep the videos short so you don't get bored and it covers everything step by step. That is currently $4.97, but the prices change depending on demand and how much time I'm spending. But that is the cheaper option because it does not include mentorship, which means I'm not helping you one-on-one. -on -one. You can ask questions in my Discord or my Facebook community and others will answer you, but you do not get access to me. That is where the next program comes in where it's called the Course Plus Mentorship and includes that same program, but it also includes one-on-one -on -one mentorship with me. That means whenever you need help or you have questions, I help you out. So you will get access to my messenger and you can pretty much message me at any point and I am very responsive between my office hours of nine to five. We have to be realistic. I'm a person. I don't have a big team of random people. Um, so I can only help out during those office hours. I'm not going to be up at 2 a.m. texting you. Although I have had students message me at midnight and I responded. So I'm always here to help you out. But it also includes product analysis reports. This is a full typed report where if you find a potential product you want to sell on Amazon and you want to make sure that it is a good product, I will go over everything I look at and type out a full full five to 10 page report covering everything I see about that product and market. So if there's any issues, I will type them out so you could save a lot of money by spending thousands on a product that you didn't know about this certain issue because you're a new Amazon seller. I include five product analysis reports for my mentorship students and this will help you save a lot of money and risk because I'm gonna show you what is good and bad about that product so you have a better understanding of how that product will perform if you invest in it and sell it on Amazon. So that is why my mentorship program is a lot more. I help out students one-on-one. -on -one. I'm very responsive. I don't ghost you like a lot of these other Amazon gurus out there. I actually help you out one-on-one, -on -one, which is why I charge more for my time. My time is limited and you get direct access to me. All right, guys, if you are interested in the programs that I offer, just scroll down the page and you will see what is included. You'll see all the student results. You can find all the feedback that people say about my programs down below as well. Uh, but hopefully you've learned something in this video and you decided if it is right for you. If it is right for you, make sure to check out my program or you could check out my Facebook community and everything is right down below. All right, guys, that is it. Good luck on your journey and I'll see you in the next video.